Hello, hello, my beautiful Virgo. How are you? It is B, and welcome to your June 2023 reading. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for all the likes, the shares, and the subscribes. I really do appreciate it. For those of you wishing to subscribe, please make sure you click on that notification button, that little bell. Make sure that little bell is wiggling for all notifications so you'll be immediately notified when I post my videos. Also, sometimes when you do subscribe, you will not be notified. So please just come back to this channel and uh, check it out. I post, well, I was posting like once every couple days, but man, I got really backed up with my home renovations, but I'm back in the game. Things happen, typical Mercury retrograde, getting back on target, getting back in line with everything that needs to move forward. <clears throat> okay, Virgos, what have we got for you? For those of you wishing to get a reading with me, uh, I am posting reading slots tonight. I was going to be doing that the other night. My apologies. Um, again, I got really distracted with a lot of different things that had to take my attention for a little while. But I'll be posting those openings tonight. And since I am doing the monthlies every month now, um, those readings will likely be available for the beginning of June from about June 1st to June 12th. Right in there, because then I like to get my readings in for the monthlies. All right, members, your reading will be coming up right after this one. for your extended. <clears throat> All right, Virgos, let's go ahead and pray over the deck. Virgo, first card, second card, third card, fourth card, fifth card, and sixth card. Make sure you can see all of that. There we go. <clears throat> All right, Virgo, what is your energy for the month of June 2023? Two of Wands reversed. Um, there is a partnership that is no longer meeting your needs. There is something you're either you're going through a realization or there's something happening here where you're separating yourself from a group of people, an individual, a place, um, maybe from a thing as well. I am hearing you are possibly going to be considering uh, detoxifying. I'm also hearing you may even be deciding to sequester yourself. You may be deciding to break away from something that perhaps you were considering. And now it's like you're, it's almost like you're waiting for the right time to go through this separation or go through this um it's it's like you're creating your own airspace okay and maybe something about airspace maybe something about pilots maybe something about airlines could be coming up here but just want to make sure that you're uh, you're aware of that there is a contract that is ending virgo there is a contract that is ending what is the next card Page of Swords, and you are talking about it. You are talking to someone. You could be talking to a group of people. You are going to make it very clear where you stand, what you will and will not tolerate. I am getting a little bit of burping and you know a little bit of these interruptions. So there might be a little a little delay, a little interruption. But I am definitely feeling that your internal self <clears throat> can no longer tolerate something. Uh, this could be this could be uh, indigestion. This could be gas. This could be heartburn. Something is causing um, some sort of a rejection here. There's a rejection. Now you could be also rejecting someone as well. It just doesn't serve you anymore. It's not that there's any 
bad feelings and maybe there is some bad feelings, but it, you know, as you know, it's really important to get ourselves back on that positive mindset, uh, get back on that train of positivity, uh, because you don't want to keep that energy around. And perhaps as you are talking about the removal of what does not serve you in your life, then that is helping you to get back on that train of positivity. This could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra child as well who has big news for you. This could also be someone who's a little bit impetuous. Uh, they're a little bit aggressive in their speech. And you're just not having it, Virgo. You're just not having it anymore. You're like, I, I just don't need this. I just don't want to deal with this anymore. There is a demand for the truth. There is a demand for clarity. There is a demand for like promises made or promises kept. Those are things that are coming through here. So maybe you're talking to someone about promises or talking to someone about, you know, um, we had this agreement. We had this, you know, this understanding between one another. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now you're like, I need the information. I need to know where we're at with this. What is the next card? Death. You are definitely ending something. You are definitely getting out of a very toxic situation. It is over. It is over. You are beginning your transformation, Virgo. Now, Virgo, you also have to realize that your um you have you have a trine with Taurus right now the Taurus house of self value the money you make from the company you work for the money you make from the business you own creature comforts you are undergoing massive massive transformations without even lifting a finger Something is going on around you. Because remember, trines make things very easy. It's just easy. You just kind of slide right in. Because something over here is undergoing this massive transformation. And it's benefiting you. Okay. Just <clears throat> don't look a gift horse in the mouth is what I'm hearing, Virgo. Be very grateful. Be very thankful. And as you go through this transformation, you are definitely going to see how things are going to get better for you. What is the next card? Page of Wands. Here comes the message. The message is coming. Now, this is happening uh, right around, I would say, probably the end of the first week of June, right in there. Uh, there is a message. Something is coming through. There is movement forward. There's innovative uh, energies here. There's creative energies. There's passionate energies. I'm hearing time to go. That is what I am hearing. It's time to go. It's time to take that trek to where it is you desire to be. So for a lot of you out there, if you are leaving a very toxic situation, this could be a Scorpio person as well or Scorpionic energies, you kind of want to get away from those negative Scorpionic energies. And what are the negative energies of um, the Scorpio sign? Well, obsession, possession, uh, control, uh, the underworld, toxicity, you know, death and rebirth as well. It's, that's not really negative. It's, it's just, it just is what it is. But you're kind of escaping that, okay? And you just don't want to have any more to do with it. Like, it, it, it feels to me like there's somebody here in your environment that just does not mesh well with you, okay? And it's, it's, it is. It's time to go. That's what I'm hearing. It's time to go. Now, remember, when I say I sense, I see, I hear, I feel, uh, that means I am getting a download, and I am hearing it's time to go. Okay, Virgo. What's the next card? The Hermit. This could be working with physicians, uh, this could also be um, kind of going out on your own, uh, looking deeper into a situation, sequestering yourself, having some time alone before you embark on this new beginning. As you are 
ending whatever needs to be ended up here. Virgo, this is also you. So Virgo, you're getting back to yourself. You're getting back to yourself. So the reason you have to go or the reason you have to kind of separate yourself from a situation that is toxic and doesn't serve you, and you're definitely being vocal about it, and it's a partnership that just is no longer working, and whether that's friendship, business, you know, relationship, whatever it is, Virgo, <clears throat> there is a sense that you just need some time to yourself right now just to relax, get centered, and be prepared for whatever it is you're going to be walking into. So you're going to take a little bit of a break first before you walk into something uh, that you are, uh, you know, potentially trying to create or manifest in your life while something else ends. What is the last card? There's your new beginning. See, Virgo? When I get messages and <clears throat> there's a sense of newness, a new beginning, a great grand new beginning, it's so apparent to me when I see how these cards play out. And so I'm not surprised this came up. You do have a new beginning because you're saying enough is enough. That's what that is. This is also just very passionate energy. This could be a very robust, um, you know, sexual life. But I, what I feel here, Virgo, is this was the key right here. I feel that when you decide I'm no longer going to tolerate this energy and I'm going to take some time for me and I'm going to focus on me and I'm going to focus on what my needs are and I'm going to get comfortable with that and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to go. It's just, it's, it's not an energy that matches up with me anymore. Maybe it did in the past for a little while, but it just doesn't anymore. And now, once you make this move, you have the purest form of manifestation. Anything is possible. I love this for you, Virgo. I knew it was going to turn out good. I knew it. Because you were walking away from toxic energy. Wow, Virgo, great. What do we got for your clarifiers? Well, I definitely want to know why you're leaving. <laughs> and I want to know what this new beginning has for you as well. This is why you're leaving or you're getting rid of the toxic energy. And this is why a new beginning is here. All right. Why are you leaving this toxic energy? Children? Somebody's acting like a child. Oh my gosh, Virgo. I, I can't even imagine what you're going through right now. Now, this could be because of the children. Maybe, you're, maybe there's toxicity within your children or your children are dealing with some sort of toxicity, you might be advising them, hey, if your friend is, is doing this thing or if you're hanging around these people and it doesn't make you feel good, maybe they're not your friend. Maybe it's time for you to remove the toxicity. You could be saying that to a child. But this, I really feel, is someone is acting like a child and Virgo does not tolerate that. Virgos are extremely... Um, disciplined and orderly and for the most part they are relatively respectful to people doesn't mean that they don't speak their mind but they're relatively respectful to people just in general and if you're dealing with someone who's acting like a child it's like I'm out of here I don't I don't have time for this why is this new beginning coming in? <clears throat> a no reversed. So what's happening here is there's been delays. There has been great delays. Someone said, not yet, not yet, not yet. No, not yet, not yet. But it's right around the corner. 
And the reason it's around the corner is because you've decided to remove yourself from that energy. And now, <clears throat> excuse me, now, I just had coffee, I apologize. Now, there is, I'm, he, I'm seeing something else here as well, and we'll talk about this. Um, but now things start moving forward. So if there was something delayed around you, and you were still in this energy, it just kept delaying it and delaying it and delaying it. And now that you've left this energy, universe is saying, all right, let's start moving forward. The energy around Virgo is changing. So now we're going to start the cogs in the wheel turning again. And so now things are going to speed up for you. And the other thing I'm hearing and I'm seeing here is in the reverse, this says on, on. So something's on like Donkey Kong, right? So you might be getting the message that if something was delayed, it's it's back on. That that's that's what I'm getting here. Wow, Virgo, really interesting. <clears throat> it's on like Donkey Kong. That's what I might even name this video. It's on like Donkey Kong. After a delay, of course. <coughs> How is this energy manifesting for you with the Major Arcana? Strength. Oh my gosh. Virgo, I love this. Strength. A Leo person might be helping you out. You could have a good Leo friend that is part of this assistance. So maybe if there was a delay, for whatever reason, because of a decision a Leo made, kind of on the periphery, this started the wheels turning again. So let's just say this, say you have, say you have a, a Taurus friend and a Taurus friend is doing something for you. They're, they're, they're trying to get something ready for you. And it's just delay, delay, delay. But then a Leo is talking to the Taurus, is meeting up with the Taurus, they're having an agreement with the Taurus. And that Leo is saying, okay, let's do that. And because that Leo said that to the Taurus, now the Taurus moves even faster for you. Possibly. <clears throat> But strength comes in and it says that the reason you are getting out of this situation is because you need to regain your strength. The reason you are kind of going into hermit mode, you're going back to your Virgo self, you are sequestering yourself, you're giving yourself some time alone to think and to contemplate and to get centered again, you're going to regain your strength. You felt like this situation was depleting you. That is, that's what I'm hearing. It's like it was depleting you for some reason. <clears throat> Could be something about dental work needing to get done as well, Virgo. Or, you know, if you look at it, th this woman, she's like trying to carefully close this lion's mouth. Shh, I don't want to hear you roar anymore. I don't want to hear you anymore. You, your voice sounds very, um, it's like nails on a chalkboard to me. That might be this person over here. Like they're yelling at you or they're demanding things from you or it's like, oh gosh, please give me a break. You know, it's like, your voice is like nails on chalkboard. I got to get out of here. I, I'm just not listening to this. <laughs> but whatever this new beginning is, on like Donkey Kong, it's going to be bringing you great strength. What's your overall advice, Virgo? Council of Light. Divine orchestration. Helpers in the subtle realms. What did I say? You got all these things that perhaps were delayed or you didn't really know where you stood, 
But then once you got the the ping to leave the situation regardless and have faith that everything else would turn out, here come the helpers. Here comes that Leo talking to that Taurus, like I said in the example. Everything starts moving forward. This is divine orchestration. You are being helped. People are helping you in the, in the subtle realms. They're all watching over you for you to regain your strength. Wow, I love this for you, Virgo. Virgo, thank you so much for joining me for your June monthly reading. I do wish you the best. Members, stay tuned. Your extended reading is on the way. Take care, guys. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch on the flip side.